Hi everybody, my name is Becca Lundy and I am the voice teacher at Rock U School of Music and I'm here to give a 30 minute free voice lesson. So whether you are a beginner singer or somebody who's been singing for a long time who's just looking to work on your technique and do some warm ups at home, feel free to tune in and get started. So. Something that a lot of people don't know is that one of the most important aspects of singing technique is control of the breath. So we want to make sure that we're getting really healthy, strong inhales when we're singing. So I always like to start by talking about our inhale technique so that we know that we're getting these good inhales. I'm going to adjust my camera so you can see my ribs and my belly as I'm working on these inhales so you can see exactly what we're trying to get here. So, here we go. So, I have my hands on my ribs so you can see exactly what's going on here. When I inhale, I don't wanna move my shoulders and I don't wanna tense my throat. I wanna take a nice deep inhale that's gonna expand my ribs and that's also gonna expand my belly as well. So our nice deep inhale looks like this. And then as we begin to exhale, we're pressing from our belly muscles, my hand is on my belly button right here, to push the air out. So a good way to practice this is to take a nice deep inhale and then exhale on a hiss for as long as we can. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Nice deep inhale. And let's exhale. I want to do that two more times. Nice deep inhale. Exhale on a hiss for as long as you can. One more. Expanding into the belly and then a nice deep exhale for as long as we can. Maybe you're able to go longer than me, that's great. Maybe you're not able to go quite so long yet, that's okay too. As we sing more, as we gain more control of the breath, we're also gonna gain more stamina. We're gonna understand these muscles in our belly a little better that are helping us to push the air out. So, let's go ahead and get started with a few easy singing exercises. So these are gonna be really simple. I'm gonna sing them for you, and then I'll play the notes on the piano so that you can follow them. So, I wanna start nice and easy, nice and low. We're gonna do an ah vowel, so inhale into an ah space, and we'll do Yaw. Your turn. Really nice. So with our inhale, in addition to expanding the belly and expanding the ribs, we also want to find plenty of space inside our mouth. So there's a couple things that we want to be able to access here. The first is we want to lift the soft we inhale and what that means is we want to arch that soft spot on the back of the mouth the back of the roof of the mouth just in front of the uvula so if you are going from the front of your mouth back on the top of your mouth first you have obviously your top teeth behind that you have that part that's hard and bumpy behind that is the part that's hard and smooth and then behind that is the soft palate which is smooth and squishy so that's the best way that I know to find it. Another great way to understand lifting the soft palate is to induce a yawn in yourself. So we all know how to make ourselves yawn. When we yawn, we lift the soft palate and that's part of the feeling that we create when we get all that extra space in the back of our mouth. So this is really helpful when we're singing as well because it allows us to have enough space to create these high notes. So making sure that we're taking a nice big inhale through our awe-shaped mouth and lifting the soft palate a little as well so we feel like we have a little extra space back there. Give it a shot. Yeah. Your turn. Let's 
Let's keep coming up. So as these notes get higher, if you feel like it's a little too high for you, you can of course drop out or go down the octave, whatever feels more comfortable for you. Your turn. Let's keep going a little higher. turn. Continuing up. Your turn. Nice big breath. Let's keep going a little higher. Your turn. So one thing that you might notice is that as I'm singing, I'm trying not to change the shape of my mouth too much. I'm trying to keep it as consistent as I can. And that's because I don't wanna lose any space as I'm coming up to these higher notes because I know that I'm gonna need it. Sometimes it can be hard to tell if you're changing the shape of your mouth or not because it's not something we really think about. There's a couple of ways to get around this. The first one is to practice in a mirror. At first it seems kind of silly and maybe a little intimidating, but you really get to see every shape that your mouth is making and you also really get to see every breath you take where it's going. So sometimes when we inhale, we'll tense up our shoulders or we'll tense up our throat, and we can see that in the mirror when it happens. And similarly, sometimes when we're singing, we allow our mouth to close a little bit or change shape as we're changing notes, and we can see that if we do it in the mirror. If you don't feel comfortable singing into a mirror or you don't have access to one, you can do a couple other things. One thing I love to have people do is do the home alone face and sing with your hands on your face so you can feel exactly what your face and your jaw are doing. Example, So I know that my jaw didn't close at all because I could feel exactly what was going on. Another way, if you don't wanna put your whole hand on your face, is just to gently keep your fingers on your cheeks so you know that you're not spreading into a smile shape. Of course, if you're going to be touching your face, make sure your hands are clean, but we should be making sure that our hands are clean all the time anyway. So let's keep going with these ahs. We'll keep going up the scale and try to make sure that you're not letting your mouth change shape as you get higher. Oops, let's start a little higher. Sorry. Your turn. Let's keep going. Your turn. Let's do five more. Your turn. Four more. Oops. Sorry, I'm not a pianist. Your turn. Let's keep going. Three more. Your turn. Really drop your jaw and find that yawn space on those top notes. We're going to do two more. Your turn. All right, last one. Really use your breath to support you. Make sure you're getting a big, nice inhale. 
Awesome. Give yourself a little break. Maybe take a sip of water. If you don't have water handy, I totally recommend, if not going to grab some, at least having some available for your next voice lesson. Couple of reasons why. Of course, being hydrated is good for our bodies and it's important for us. And our physical health is really tied to our vocal health. In order to sound good and sing well consistently, we have to make sure that we're taking care of our bodies. We're sleeping enough, we're eating well, we're drinking enough water. Another reason that having water around when you're taking a voice lesson is really useful is because when we take a sip of water, when we swallow, everything in our throat relaxes down a little bit and we find a little bit more of a relaxed position in the mouth, the throat, and the neck. And this is key because we want our mouth, our throat, and our neck to be as relaxed as possible when we're singing. So taking that sip of water can relax everything a little and just remind us what it feels like to have everything in the throat and neck in a nice relaxed position. So we're going to move on to another exercise now and I'm going to take you through it exactly the same way that I just took you through those ahs. Make sure that you're dropping out if you're starting to feel strain in your voice at all. Try not to push and try not to feel any pressure coming from right here. We should feel all of the work that's happening down near our bellies from pressing the air out. The breath should be doing all of the work for us so that singing feels really easy and we don't feel like we're getting tired. So I'm going to demo this exercise for you. I'm going to talk about it a little and then I'll give you some opportunities to try it. We're going to start nice and low again. I always like to start low with these exercises because it's what's most comfortable for most people. Um, and we're going to come up by half steps just like we did before. We're going to use an E vowel this time instead of an A vowel. I love the E vowel because it's very concentrated close to the front of the mouth. It's easy to get some nice volume using the E vowel. So I'll take you through. We're going to go V, 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 V. So. We're using a v, v consonant because it gives us a little resistance before we come into the vowel. It allows us to move a little air and concentrate our sound before we open into the vowel so everything's in a nice place and that E vowel will feel really powerful when we get to it. Try to stay relaxed. Try not to chew on it too much. Again, not moving the jaw too much if we can help it. And really give the V plenty of time. So. Your turn. Very nice. Let's come up. Nice big breath. V, 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 V. Your turn. Couple more. V, 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 V. Your turn, big inhale. Let's keep going. turn. So one thing you might notice is even though we're using an E vowel, I'm trying not to create too much of a smile space with my mouth. E, E, E. We don't want to spread too much because even though that feels like we're achieving more space in our mouth, it's actually not usable space for the voice. So even when we're doing a vowel like E, we want to do everything we can to make it tall, going E instead of E. 
give it a shot with this next one. V, 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 V. Your turn. Let's keep going. V, 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 V. Find that vertical space. I want to do a few more using that V to really propel you into those top notes, making sure we're moving plenty of air. V, 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 Your turn. Let's keep going. V, 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 V. Your turn. I want to do four more. V, V. turn. Three more. V, 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 V. You can even open your mouth like it's all. Give yourself so much space. Your turn. We're going to do two more. Oops. <laughs> Give yourself a little break. So, super important, even if we're only taking a 30 minute voice lesson, to give ourselves little breaks in between our exercises. Extra important when you're doing an, a lesson like this where your teacher can't hear what you're doing. Making sure that if you feel dry, if you feel tired, anything like that, you're giving yourself a little bit of time to relax, sip some water and not sing for a few minutes so that we're not overworking ourselves. So give yourself that time. I wanna take you through a couple of things that I like to do to help relax my voice. My favorite ones are humming through my register. Hmm. So my mouth is in an aw position, but my lips are closed and I'm just allowing myself to slide through my register. Hmm. I'm not starting too high and I'm not heading too low. I'm not pushing myself into the extremes of my voice at all. I'm just allowing myself to move in a way that's relaxed and comfortable. So you can always do a few of those if you're feeling a little tight, especially I think as you descend into the lower area of your voice, you should feel a little bit of relief. Hmm. Another thing that I think is really fun to do to help release the voice is to do lip trills. So we've probably all done these without engaging the voice. And they're really nice, even when we're just moving the air, because it helps us to relax our face and relax our lips. It reminds us not to get too tight in the jaw. So try it once or twice without making any sound, just moving air. 
Now we're going to allow ourselves to slide through our register, coming from the low part of our voice all the way up as high as it feels comfortable, and then allowing ourselves to descend back down. I'll demonstrate that once or twice. <laughs> Sometimes when we do it, it feels really smooth and easy. Sometimes when we do it, we feel little bumps in our voice. We notice little breaks where we're moving from register to register. This is okay and it's normal. And if it's happening for you, don't try to push through it. Keep yourself as relaxed as you can and just move plenty of air. Give it a shot. <sighs> Keeping the face relaxed, keeping plenty of air moving. Give yourself one or two of those. I'll give you a minute. So when we do these lip trills, we feel that pressing from our belly that we talked about right at the beginning of the lesson, Thing that consistent, strong press near the belly button to help us push air out and support our voice without overworking the throat. I'm going to take us through another exercise so that we can feel the air supporting us and try to feel ourselves sliding through our notes without having to work from the throat. I'll demo it and then I'll take you through just like before, so feel free to follow along. We're going to take a nice deep inhale and we're going to, we're going to go no, no, no. Now, if thinking about breath control is new for you, you might notice that this exercise comes out a little choppy. There might be some H's in it. For example, no, 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 etc. So when we get that choppiness, when we hear those H's, that tells us that our exhale is not smooth and we're not using all of our breath as efficiently as we can. We want to be as efficient as we possibly can with our breath so that we don't feel like we're running out of breath ever. So make sure you take a deep inhale and try to have this exercise as smooth and slidey as you can. I'll demo one more time and then I'll give you the opportunity to try. No, 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 no. Your turn. Now this exercise is on the longer side and it's a breath control exercise so you might notice that you feel like you're running out of air part way through. If that's the case, it's totally okay to drop out for a second and take a breath. I'll give you an example. No, 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 no. Super important that when we take a quick breath like that, sometimes you'll hear singers call it a catch breath. When we take a quick breath like that, we want it to be silent and relaxed. Whenever we can hear our breath in a gaspy way, that indicates that we're holding a lot of tension in our vocal folds as we let the air rush past them. And that can be a problem because it's drying, it's fatiguing, and it's just a place for us to hide extra tension, and we don't want that at all. So, if you're taking a little quick catch breath, try and make it a silent breath. You can still take in plenty of air without gasping, so try not to gasp. Let's keep going here. No, 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 no. Your turn. Going a little higher. No, 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 no. Your turn. We'll do a few more. No.
Your turn. Couple more. No. turn. Sorry. <laughs> Your turn. Let's do four more. No, 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 no. Your turn. Remembering that what we're looking for here is really smooth sound, no H's, and feeling ourselves gliding in between notes, supported by the breath. We're gonna do three more because I lost count. I'm not sure where we were. No, 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 no. Your turn. Today, we focused on finding space inside the back of the mouth and good control of the breath. So before we close out, I wanna do one more quick exercise that should just feel like a really nice vocal stretch. It's gonna be on the vowel ah again, and I'll take you through it once before I ask you to do it. So, we'll start here. We're gonna go yo. Give it a shot. Find your yawn space and let yourself really relax into it as you come up. Yawn. Your turn. Let's do two more. turn. Last one. Your turn. Awesome. That is our time for today. So thank you so much for tuning in and for trying all of these new exercises with me. If you have any questions about your voice or things that you might wanna work on, feel free to leave a comment on this video and I'll take a look at all of them and try to address these things as I'm working through our live lesson uh, program. So. Thank you so much for tuning in. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or you just want to say hi. And I will see you all again at 4 o'clock next week. Thank you guys so much. Have a great week.